For this problem, we'll prove that the limit as x approaches 10 of the function f of x equals 25 is 25 using the precise definition of the limit. First, let's review what the precise definition of the limit is and look at a general strategy for using this definition to prove a limit equation is correct. So here's the precise definition of the meaning of the statement. The limit as x approaches c of f of x is l. For all epsilon greater than 0, there exists a delta greater than 0 such that if the absolute value of x minus c is greater than 0 and less than delta, then the absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon. Proving a limit using the epsilon delta definition of the limit can then take the following general strategy. First, suppose the absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon for the values of f of x and l given and an arbitrarily small positive value of epsilon. Second, use algebraic manipulations to convert the inequality the absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon into the absolute value of x minus c is less than some algebraic manipulation of epsilon. And third, if we can accomplish number two, then we just set delta to that algebraic manipulation of epsilon, and we know that whenever the absolute value of x minus c is less than that, then the absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon, and the limit is proven. But there's another situation in which we can use another approach to, use, to provide a limit using the precise definition of the limit than the strategy just mentioned. If we can show that the absolute value of f of x minus l is always less than any positive value of epsilon we could choose, then the implication is always going to be true, because if the consequent of a logical implication is true, then the implication is true. This is known as a trivial proof. So how could we say that the absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon always? Well, our universal quantifier for the definition of the limit is for all epsilon greater than zero. So if we can prove that the absolute value of f of x minus l is less, is always zero, except maybe at x equals c, then we can prove the limit with a trivial proof. So if f of x is equal to 25 and l is also equal to 25, that is exactly what we have. The implication is true for all epsilon greater than zero, and therefore the limit is proven. Because the antecedent doesn't matter in this case, all positive values of delta, an infinite number of them, render the implication true, which is another way of saying that x can be any distance away from 10 as long as it's not 10, and f of x will be less than any positive epsilon away from 25. I hope that helped.